If you find yourself writing the same code or text over and over again, you should save yourself some time by using live templates in IntelliJ. So say for example, I'm writing some to-do text and within my team, we write a to-do and then uh, some description. And then we always include an author, say me, a date uh, today and a time of now. So if you wanna save this as a live template, something that you can use over and over again, you just select the block of text, you go up to tools and select save as live template. What this does, it brings up a dialogue that allows you to say what the abbreviation is going to be. So to do, write a description, uh, generates a to do. And then within your template text, you can create some variables uh, and I'll do that in just a second, but for right now, I'll just hit apply and okay. So I'll delete this and see if I type to do and then hit tab, it automatically generates that snippet. Or if I hit control J and then start typing to do or scroll down to to do, you can generate it that way as well. Now let's put some variables in there. So I'm gonna open up the settings, file settings, Go down to live templates and once you select your template you can select some of the text that you entered and create a variable so we'll just call this variable for description and we'll say this one's a name we'll say this one is date and this one's time so if we edit these variables we can say the description uh, let's put nothing in there, but we do want a default value of uh, please enter a description as a string. The name can be an expression, which can be the current user. The date can be an expression of the current date. And the time can be an expression of the current time. Click OK. Hit Apply. And now when I type to do and hit tab. You can say it, says, it says, please enter a description, some description, and then you can enter and go through each of the fields that you put in there. Um, if you wanted to skip those ones that are already populated, just say skip if defined, because I'm not gonna change the author, the date or the time. So the next time I do this, to do, tab, another description, hit enter, and then I'm done. If you want to change the end point of it, we'll open this again. And one of the values you can use is just end, all capitals. And then it'll always put the cursor after or wherever you put that end variable. So we'll just do to do, tab, uh, last description, then hit enter. And now you see that the cursor jumps all the way down to where you put that end variable. So these live templates are very customizable. I'll bring up the dialogue again. Um, and you can use them in whatever context you want. Uh, th this one, because I created it in JavaScript, applies to only JavaScript by default. You can, you can change it to any of the other file formats that you want to support. Um, obviously, if you want to do to-dos for all the different formats, you'd set up a to-do live template for each of the different markups or languages you're using because a to-do in JavaScript wouldn't work in XML. So that's uh, live templates in a nutshell. Uh, we'll cover more about uh, surrounding with live templates in a different video and go more into depth around the, uh, the expressions you can use in the surround with live templates video. So keep an eye out for that.